Um, ooh, all right, here we go. And y'all do not have audio, which I will get your audio in a second here. Why do y'all not have audio? There it is. Okay. No subtitles. I checked. There's nothing. No captions. I may mean, make because uh, there's nothing. Yeah. I'm personally not a fan of Mario and Luigi games, but that's just me. Now, it still looks like a better version of like Mario 64. I did have Mario on my bingo card. Before I realized my camera broke. Brothership! Ooh. I like that title. November 7th, 2024. I would not play this game first. Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Still no caption, sorry. That was the first new entry in the Mario and Luigi series in almost nine years. First new Mario entry, and nine Luigi years. Brothership. Please look forward to a seafaring adventure that unfolds across mysterious islands, as well as evolved bros moves with Mario and Luigi. Okay, let's see the first batch of headlines. I love that they're going with the snap Bring the, the championships home, or on the go. The thrill of the Nintendo World Championships is heading to the Nintendo Switch system. Take on over 150 speed-running challenges from across 13 NES games, from lightning-fast beats to action-packed battles. Familiarize yourself with each challenge and perfect your timing. Then give it your best shot and aim for the top of the online leaderboards. You can also try more difficult legend challenges. I wouldn't play it, but I love this. Like completing Super Mario Brothers in one go using warp pipes. Stuck on a legend challenge? Check out classified information for handy tips and tricks to help you improve. Like, it's Put like your skills to the test in survival really, mode, really where you'll cool. race against ghost data of players worldwide. After each round, half of the players will be eliminated. You've only got one shot to survive. Will you be the last one standing? Nintendo World Championships NES Edition launches on Nintendo Switch July 18th. Pre-orders for the digital version are available now on Nintendo eShop. A deluxe set containing a physical version of the game and other bonus items is also available Ooh. for pre-order. The final battle of Fairy Tale is about to begin. Ikuto, happy! Relive the climactic Alvarez Empire arc from the hit anime Fairy Tale in this action RPG. Oh, I remember Set my friends were interested in the vast kingdom of Fiore. Team Natsu prepares to finish their fight. Yeah. 
Engage in real-time battles and unleash powerful attacks that fuse different kinds of magic based on who's in your party. Work together with your teammates to take down powerful enemies. Yeah, it looks cool. Fairy Tale 2 launches on Nintendo Switch this winter. Embark on a multi-dimensional journey. From Final Fantasy series creator Hironobu Sakaguchi and composer Nobuo Uematsu comes the turn-based RPG Fantasian. The world is slowly being robbed of its civilization. I also thought it was Nier, even though I never played Nier. I Leo thought it confront was. an evil entity threatening all mankind. Sad cry. Don't really play Nintendo, I'm just here to see y'all happy. Are the to Emma's appreciated. Battles. Appreciate you Adjust being Adjust a here. skill's trajectory to target multiple enemies at once. Come on, I promise I'm not normally that mad You can also send enemies you've encountered to a separate dimension and fight them later. The more enemies there are, the more you can wipe out in one shot. I'm sorry, did you say ovaries? I heard ovaries. Now. Let us save the world together. Fantasian Neo Dimension launches on Nintendo Switch this oh, holiday. Really? <laughs> I was also chewing at the same time, so it was hard to hear. Another sport is coming to Spoko Square. Ooh. Marching band? Basketball is being added as a free update to the Nintendo Switch sports game. Dribble, pass, and shoot. Oh, that's cool. In two-on-two -two matches using motion controls. Try out three-point challenge solo and score as many baskets as you can within the time limit. This is pretty cool. Up to four players can also compete in five streak like battles. They haven't had Besides a basketball yet? Player, Maybe not. You can team I mean, up I know basketball is really popular in the United two States. Two I'm not sure about it. Japan. This free update for Nintendo Switch Sports dunks its way onto Nintendo Switch this summer. That's cool. Hey, what are you? The guy's Knuff. I'm already attached. I'm emotionally attached already. What are you? I don't know, but I'm interested. I'm about to make start making a list over here. Oh, it's platforming like Hollow Knight. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like that. Nope. It's an array of Wait, I completely classics. missed the name of that. Leap into what a was new the name of that game? Disney Illusion Island. Monoth's greatest detective is solving a mystery and only Mickey and friends can help. In the brand new adventure, Mystery Mio. and Monarch, okay, thank you. uncover hints thank and you, evidence chat. scattered throughout chat. the world, then use the dashboard to crack each case. What big secret lies at the end? Start sleuthing because Disney this on my free finger update card. <laughs> launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Did you know that um, Kingdom Hearts is on Steam now? Island adventures await. Wait, was that Hello Kitty? Oh my god. Hello Kitty Animal Crossing. Customize your character. Then befriend Hello Kitty, Karomi, and other familiar faces Animal Kitty, in this open Animal world Crossing adventure. the Hello Kitty edition. Team this is up what with this your says. new pals to solve mysteries and restore Friendship Island when Hello with maybe Kitty more of a plot. Island Adventure launches as a timed console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system next year. Ellie is excited.
Ooh, what are your favorites? Let's get loony in this wacky sports game. <laughs> Play as Bugs Bunny, Hello Kitty went to Daffy Duck, Duck Rio, Corky Pig, oh, and cute. more across four arcade-style sports. Unleash the full power of Acme across iconic levels in up to four-player local co-op. But watch out for falling anvils. Looney I buy a Switch wacky just world for that. Of sports I mean, I will Nintendo support Switch you on that decision. If that is what you want, I will support That's you. That's all, folks. Let's see if you can be a game on. Emergency meeting. New crewmate and imposter roles are being added to Among Us. Alert others when eliminated as a noisemaker. Plant tracking devices on others Ooh. as a tracker. Or turn invisible while taking out players as a phantom. Suss things out when this free update for Among Us sneaks onto Nintendo Switch later today. A monster army is at your command. This is Felicidad, a realm of monsters. Those who command and raise them are called Farmagia and play a vital role in the land's civilization. Ten of Farmagia must rise up against the oppressive Magus to stop his vicious reign of the underworld. Raise monsters and lead them into the fight against the Magus' army. Plant seeds, then cultivate, and harvest them to make your buddies come to I didn't see that. I did not pick up on that. They can then be trained for battle. Give commands to your monsters and exploit enemy weaknesses in action-packed combat. Cross cute farming game. Is this cute farming game? Merge all of the battle buddies in your this party. This is not how to we define cute farming game, but okay. You do you, boo. And wreak havoc on your foes. Do y'all remember? The Join Nintendo the DS rebellion game. to stop the Magus uh, in Farmagia, Fossil Fighters? launching on Nintendo Switch. Can we get November like 1st. an update on that game? Because I loved Fossil Fighters when I was a kid. Ooh, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Country it's Returns, cute, it's originally and a released on the Wii system, <laughs> you know is fair on to Nintendo Switch fair. in HD. <laughs> The villainous Tiki Tap tribe has hypnotized the local wildlife and stolen Donkey Kong's precious banana horde. Again, not a game Obstacles for me. Obstacles in the way? Just stomp them. Pound them. And roll on through. Each level is filled with hijinks, but they're no match for these top bananas. From Manic Minecarts. To high flying rocket barrels. I did just say it looks good. And even hitching a ride on Rambi. There are plenty of transportation methods available. Pass a Joy Con controller to a buddy for two player local co op. Oh, cool. 80 appealing levels are in store, including the additional levels from the Nintendo 3DS version. Cool. Donkey Kong Country Returns HD swings onto the Nintendo Switch system January 16th. 2025. That that date feels Yanguru, fake. One of Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong's jungle escapades returns in HD. Plenty of wild actions and antics are in store with these Kongs. Next, please take a look at this. Still love the snap. The snap is so good. The time is nigh. Tokyo Metropolitan's in New York City. Oh, that's so cool! Love that. The hour of awakening draws near. Dragon Quest 3. Journey with allies to face the arch fiend. I was also thinking Octopath Traveler. On an epic adventure. Memorable encounters. Oh, it's a live orchestra though. <laughs> perplexing challenges. And formidable monsters await. 
an iconic RPG remade in HD2D. Forge your own power. Oh, the hug. legacy begins. If you would like a hug, that is. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. Coming to Nintendo Switch. I November forget, 14th. Like, I sometimes forget how massive Square Enix is as a studio with all the games they come out with. I sometimes forget that. Experience a complete Erdic, er, Erdric trilogy. Oh! One and two are coming in 2025. Nintendo Direct, welcome everyone. Konnichiwa, Hori Yuji. Dragon Quest 3 の映像いかがでしたか<笑>ようやく発売日を発表できて僕も嬉しく思いますそして今日サプライズで発表したドロンクエスト1&2 も HD2D で読み上げることが決定しました時系列としては3が物語の始めとなっており3、1,2 の順番でプレイしてもらうとあっと驚く展開が待っていますドと三部作となる3と 1&2 どちらもぜひ楽しんでもらえたら嬉しいです。どうも、ホリユーでした。Thank you, Mr. Hori. We hope you're excited to play the entire Erdrick trilogy now in HD 2D. Let's continue with more. Hi, Anna. How are you? Let's have some fun. Wait. What is this? Say hello to Jaws. Wait, He-Man. Great Scott! Is that Marty McFly? The world of Funko is coming to life in this action-adventure mashup for the ages. Play with more than 60 characters as you explore locations based on over 20 iconic oh, movies, TV shows, oh. and more. Use special skills and crafted gadgets to explore epic worlds, each with their own unique puzzles, hidden areas, and familiar foes. Dinosaurs from Jurassic World and Cylons from Battlestar Galactica. They're certainly not toying around. Unbox the universe when Funko Fusion pops on Nintendo Switch September 13th. We've got a smorgasbord of spooky, silly, and strategic games. Ready for an adventure of ghoulish proportions? Summon your courage Hello? and explore multiple mansions filled with goofy ghosts, tricky traps, you got this, Anna. I believe and in other you. supernatural shenanigans. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD launches on Nintendo Switch June 27th. Pre-orders are available now is, I, I on Nintendo eShop. If, if, um, if if Meet the quirky little Dempa Man. Find him, catch him, and lead him on a joyful RPG adventure. Not Tomodachi 2. Disappointed. Explore dungeons and battle monsters. Customize all sorts of outfits. Decorate your island however you'd like. And more. Plus, up to four players in local co-op can team this up to catch Tomodachi, special Dempa Man. This is knockoff Tomodachi. The new Dempa Man is free to play they don't and launches as Tomodachi. a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch July 22nd. Strategize away in this tower defense installment of the Metal Slot series. Take control of your forces like and like pulverize enemy strongholds. Choose from over 300 units with different abilities. Like a shovelware and type. And out your decks yeah. to win tactical tussles. You, like, you, you can also slug it out with other players in online I battles. actually don't know what my rank is. Metal slug attack I reloaded. always have it on vibrate. Storms onto the Nintendo so Switch no system later today. 
embark on an expedition of the damned in this eagerly awaited sequel to the gothic roguelike RPG. Oh! Board your stagecoach and set off across a decaying landscape to prevent an apocalypse. I like the art style. Fight off nightmarish fiends in turn-based combat. It looks very Borderlands. And upgrade your abilities after each deadly run. Darkest Dungeon nice. 2 launches on Nintendo like Switch regular... July 15th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. More classic titles are on the way. Look, Nintendo. Look, Zelda fans. Play Link's it's classic 16-bit adventure and team up online to explore randomized dungeons in The Legend of Zelda. This a is the Link only to Zelda news we get today. <laughs> Experience the remake of Samus's first adventure in Metroid Zero Mission. Plus, come into the new friends. Nintendo 64 Nintendo Switch Online Mature 17 Plus collection of games. What do you mean Brave by mature? The dangerous lost land to stop the campaigner's nefarious schemes. Oh my god. In Turok, is Doom gonna be Dinosaur in here? Hunter. And Infiltrate a corporation to end their alien Perfect conspiracy. Dark. In They're making a remake or a remaster now of it. With online multiplayer. Which All four games will be available for Nintendo Game Switch Showcase. Online Plus so expansion good. pack members later today. Set sail to save the day. This is Verona, a young woman with the ability to communicate with phantoms. I will take all of this girl. Join her on a journey to save her friend, Ash. In this new installment in the Phantom Brave series. Sounds like Pyman. Take on tactical turn-based battles. <laughs> where you'll combine the phantoms you've befriended with objects in various ways. Combine phantoms with certain objects to maneuver them. Susie's like, Combine yeah. <laughs> with a cannon to attack a large area. A fan to blow enemies around. Or combine with Morona herself for show-stopping abilities that can turn the tide of battle. Phantom Brave, the Lost Hero, launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Kinda cute, not for me, but kinda cute. This one's gonna take you for a ride. Ooh. Seven arcade games featuring Marvel and Capcom characters are fighting their way onto Nintendo Switch as one collection. Ooh. Clash in X-Men versus Street Fighter. Duke it out in Marvel versus Capcom 2, New Age of Heroes. Take down the Kingpin in the beat em up side scroller, The Punisher, and more. Hit up training mode to polish your fighting skills and combos. Select online mode to challenge rivals around the world. Or play co-op in The Punisher. You can also cross over to the museum to view artwork fighting games. or listen to music from each game. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Bop. Arcade Classics launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Ooh, bigger, bolder the Mario Party. The game in the Mario Party series takes place on an enormous island resort. Get ready to jump into the biggest selection of Mario Party minigames yet in Super Mario Party Jamboree. First, let's see some Brendan's of the new boards like where this. you compete to collect the most stars. I know he loves he loves playing Mario Party. Take the escalators to travel between Decent floors in Rainbow Galleria. Use in-game coins to get a star at half price when they're on flash sale. But Ooh. act fast. Good thought. Ride Thanks, around Harry and Bat. stay on track in Rollum Raceway. With the new Turbo Dice item, oh, look, you can move Mario up Kart. to 40 spaces <laughs> with a lucky roll. 
Here on Goomba Lagoon, the ebb and flow of the tide can change your path. And things really get mixed up when the volcano Yo. blows its top. Dong and Rampa, if Along they did like a party game, game like boards, this, two boards from previous like, Mario Party like games, an, an actual make their multiplayer return. is like the um the beach episode. Some game mini they games are action like packed challenges. It wasn't actually like a true trials, multiplayer. A but if wins. they created something that was and a multiplayer, more. that would be so fun. And some fun. are controlled by gently shaking or tilting your Joy-Con controllers. With over 110 mini games, there's a wide variety to enjoy. Also, based on the crow. I don't know what the crow is. is it, that's a movie, right? Because my co um, was having Compete a birthday party. Against your I didn't and go. Aim for um, first place. But it was crow themed. Try your best to come out on top. And she was like, oh, I'm going to like show the movie The Crow and maybe the show. Wait, there are even more new modes? Hi, Mira. Welcome. The How are you doing? The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be underway. When the Super Mario Party Jamboree game launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 17th. That was oh, the guys, latest Mario installment Party. in the Mario Party series. Super, Super Mario, Mario Party Jamboree. All right, 14 minutes with left. New boards, mini games, yeah. 20 player online Pokemon, gameplay, and more. Get ready for the biggest Mario Party in the series. I mean, I think history. the next Pokemon game is the next big installment and now, is supposed to be on please Switch. Please take a look too. at this. Love the snap. <gasps> oh, it's a little link! He's so cute! Look at him! He's a little cutie! Sissy, I need you to calm down. I'm gonna ban you. I'm gonna time you out in my chat for spamming. <laughs> Exciting times ahead. Everyone hydrated? <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. I'm half teasing for Susie. This is really cute. Wait, is it role reversal? Are we playing as Zelda? Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Hello everyone. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. What you just saw was the latest installment the Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. I would play this. This time around, Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? Here, we wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. I'm feeling your emotions right now. <laughs> to explain more, please take a look at this video. This is so cute. I would play Stolen this. Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule, strange rifts have appeared you think you and have taken break. many people, <laughs> including Link. Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious staff called the Tri-Rod, and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. By waving the tri-rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an echo. Once you learn an echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. Just like that. You can create wooden boxes, hey, he was old beds, and unusual things like <laughs> water blocks. How you use them separately or together is entirely up to you. Learn and this create echoes really of cute. things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might be surprised at what you discover. I actually really like this gameplay. Even battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's not all, though. You can also create echoes of monsters. 
After doing so, they'll fight by your side. Oh my god. Monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom is key, after all. Echoes of wisdom. They're very clever. Zelda now becomes no talking protagonist. In a Hyrule without Link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. Triforce of Wisdom. How was oh. that? I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo ability, also, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of Echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. <laughs> How you solve puzzles and battle enemies will change depending on the echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom this launches year. September 26th. A Nintendo Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend of Zelda series will also be available at launch. We hope you're looking forward to playing as Zelda in this new adventure. Now, I'd like to return this moment I'd stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. No, you do Thank not, you, Susie. Mr. You do not need it. <laughs> Please look forward to the newest entry Just in the Legend of Zelda series. <laughs> Let's see a few more headlines. Maybe I'll stream it. Maybe. I haven't. I don't play many. Uh, Let loose and Switch party games. on. Mind that the switch two is going to be dropping. Ooh. Yeah, so you want to save up for the, the switch two. Say when Zelda is going to be released. Um, September 24th or 26th or 25th. Late September. And I love that you're excited for it. It's not a game for me, but I love that you're hyped Lego for Adventure it. is on the horizon. Oh, here's the Horizon game. It's the world of Horizon in Lego form. Join Machine Hunter Aloy on a quest to save the world from an ancient I'm evil. I'm excited for Journey this. Journey through lush landscapes. Dive deep into the cauldrons. I wonder if this is called the Tallnecks and traverse other locations inspired by the original game. But be careful. Swarms of machines are lurking everywhere. Use an array oh, of you gadgets like blast boots and Do gravity balls sure to hunt them down. Afterwards and everything. From the nimble watchers, there's always gonna be a just dance game to every mighty year. sawtooth. Fair. <laughs> you might even come across the fearsome Thunderjaw. As you progress, you can help Aloy rebuild her home Aww. and customize her appearance with lots of outfits. This is cute. Oh, and you don't have to explore this vast wilderness alone. Team up with familiar faces from the world of Horizon in two-player local or oh, online co-op. Oh, good, good, good. Are my cup of tea, but they are good. They're, I, I Lego have Horizon a couple of Nintendo, adventures niche, launches uh, on Lego Nintendo games. Switch this holiday. Maybe we'll, we'll explore them sometime. A Stray's Journey begins. Oh, Stray coming to Switch? Yeah, this is definitely not new. It's definitely coming to Switch. Yeah, this is coming to Switch. <laughs> Also, the music for Stray, so good. I need to go back and 100% this game. I started it, but didn't, didn't finish it. Experience a decaying cyber city through the eyes of a cat separated from their family and friends. Explore alongside a drone known as B12 to find your way home. If anyone wants to see my to the highest heights, find on my VOD channel. Create new paths for yourself. And stealthily squeeze into She's tight spaces. Forward, that's it. Think like so a cat to make scared. your way gotcha. through the city. Well, hey, you're getting a game. Maybe not Dance VR, yeah, but you're getting a game. Not so everyone is excited to have you slinking around, including hordes of hostile creatures ready to swarm. 
Keep Cross exploring to venture into more areas of this unfamiliar that world is technically, like, and make AAA. your way back to safety. Stray finds its way onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Welcome home, Hobbit. Ooh, Lord of the Rings? If you've ever wanted to live like a Hobbit from the Lord of the Rings, now a leisurely existence nestled away in an idyllic, quiet corner of Middle Earth can be yours. Customize your appearance, decorate your home, and settle into life in the Shire. As a newcomer to the little haven of Bywater, oh, Emma. you'll be friendly <laughs> neighbors, for you. work together to solve problems, and even share a meal or three. Explore, garden, fish, forage, and cook. The best way to okay, build a hobby cold. community is by hosting a dinner party with your homemade dishes. Plus, you can trade with your neighbors for unique yeah, decorations or special ingredients password. for even tastier meals. Friendly hobbits and familiar faces await your arrival when okay, Tales of the Shire launches on the Nintendo I've Switch system Lord of the Rings this fan, holiday. But I am happy for those who are Lord of the Rings fans because I don't investigate, interrogate, checkmate. Edgeworth. Hello. Two Ace Attorney spin-off games, including a sequel that was previously unreleased outside of Japan, are coming to Nintendo Switch as one collection. As the prolific prosecutor Miles Edgeworth <laughs> take the case out of the courtroom and investigate crime scenes. Oh my god. By interviewing people and inspecting evidence. Then Let's use the power go. of logic to solve challenging cases. Because this is the Enjoy game where you get all to play as Edgeworth. Character visuals from the original series character designer or swap to the original sprites for a more classic look. Oh, Take a break that's from cool. your investigation to explore the gallery where you'll find character art, music, including orchestral arrangements, and more. Past and present collide as you uncover the truth at any cost. This is so cool. Ace Attorney Investigations Ace Collection Attorney. launches on yes. Nintendo Switch Ace September 6th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. After a devastating attack by unknown assailants, Takumi Samino's life gets turned upside down. A mysterious school mascot suddenly appears. While Takumi manages to get out of harm's way, he's then forced to enroll at the last defense. This Academy, is giving such Danganronpa vibes. Oh my god, is this a new Danganronpa game? Their mission is to defend the school from hostile student enemies for 100 days. An academy shrouded in secrecy. <laughs> This is giving the unavoidable loss such dong and rapa vibes. Can Takumi survive this hundred day trial, colored by extreme and despair, and return to his normal life? The creators of Don Gun Rampa present. Oh, it's the creators. The line, Last Defense Academy. Okay, that makes Nintendo sense. Switch it's by the creators the of Don Gun Rampa. Okay. Last Defense Academy. Okay. Embark on a saga spanning generations. A full remake of Romancing Saga 2 is marching on to Nintendo Switch. Hi, Bears, how are you? The Empire of Beren <laughs> across multiple generations while challenging the legendary seven heroes who have turned to darkness. I wonder if it's the same universe In combat, as Dragon Use Even returning if it's not saga features a like glimmers title. to learn skills. And formations to enhance abilities. Turn based battles have also evolved into timeline battles, where the action order is key. Innovative features like Close United like Attack oh, can yeah, also help sure. with strategy. How will you expand your empire? And in which order yeah, will so you much fight hype, the seven so much heroes? Hype. 
Every decision you make will dramatically alter the course of the story. We love a good branching narrative. Safeguard your empire's future yeah, and protect not my your legacy game, but from peril. I'm sure Otherwise, there will be people the that vengeful will seven heroes may emerge victorious. We'll play it. Romancing Saga 2 Revenge of the Seven launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. We hope you're excited to experience the full remake of Romancing Saga 2. Nothing for Pokemon. That's almost everything for today's Nintendo Direct. No worries, Bears. Appreciate you. Please take a look. Galactic Federation Research Facility. Cosmic Gear 20X9. I think it's Metroid. Oh my god, it is. Oh, it looks so good. I would never play a Metroid game, but this looks fantastic. Does look like Halo. I think Metroid predates Halo though. So I think the majority of the Metroid games have been like side scroller stuff, so this is pretty cool. Oh, I love that for Holly. Metroid Prime 4. Can we get a release date? Oh, you fucking tease. Oh, no, no, no. There's still more. There's still more. Okay. It looks great. Oh, it's coming 2025. So soon. Soon. That's exciting. That's very exciting. That was a first look at Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. After a very long time, we are finally able to share more information about this title. Release is planned for 2025, so please wait a little bit longer. We hope you're looking forward to Samus Aran's new adventure. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. I appreciate them. Oh, this is going to be... I'm going to keep it here for a split second. Um, the Prime game has always been 3D. The other Metroid games have been 2D. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, massive news to end on. I'm surprised we didn't get anything Pokemon related, though. I'm really surprised on that. Um, I know Pokemon usually does their own direct, um, but, like, I think they've already announced that, um, the, the next, the upcoming generation of Pokemon games will be on Switch 2, so they probably can't, like, really say anything, because, like, if they say, like, oh, expect a release this day, this time, this year, then it's like, oh, Switch 2 is going to be dropping at that time or sometime before it. Um, so they probably don't want to announce that yet. Um, but I'm surprised we didn't get any, like, Pokemon Go updates or any, like, other games like that. Um, surprise, no Splatoon news, no Tomodachi Life, no Super Paper Mario Remastered, no Xenoblade X. I mean, I'm so excited for Switch 2. Do we have a release on, like, did they say, like, an estimated, like, window? I'm assuming it's within the next two years. Like, if not 25, then 26. Um, but... I'm just surprised we got, didn't get any Pokemon stuff, but, like, I, like, I'm not really a huge Nintendo fan. Like, I primarily have Nintendo for, um, Pokemon stuff, um, with some other games thrown in there. Um, for my Nintendo Switch, it was a lot of, um, uh, 
what you call it, it was a lot of um, P- Professor Layton stuff, which I would love with passion to see um, the Professor Layton series get remastered for the Switch, but they might be waiting for the Switch 2, knowing that that's coming soon. Um, reserved to the Pokemon Presents. That's fair. Do we do we know if they have one listed? Do we know, like, if one is supposed to be upcoming sometime in the future? Uh, time is ticking for me to get a Switch. You might want to wait. I'm not sure if, like, I don't, I assume anything that's, like, an online Nintendo download can be um, backwards compatible um, or forwards compatible. So happy new Zelda game and we get to play Zelda. It's really cute. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Um, I don't even like, like, I don't want to say, I don't even know, like, also they're weed whacking outside again. Um, I forget what I was going to say. Um, hi Marco, how are you? We just finished watching the Nintendo Direct. I am using my other webcam because my primary one, um, decided to break on me. So, like, the colors look a little funky. Um... Yeah, that would have glow crying. I would be crying. <laughs> I love the Professor Layton series. Like I, like I was, I was telling Grant like, um, like if slash when we ever finish the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, which I do intend to go back to at some point, um, with him. Um, I do like I would love for him to play through. Um, the crossover, Professor Layton versus Phoenix, right? Because it's so fucking good. But we would need an emulator because I don't have the equipment to hook up my Nintendo 3DS um, to my streaming software. Um, so if it ever does come to Switch, um, that would be perfect because then I can stream my Switch. Um, thankfully, Switches are very affordable. One of the most affordable don't consoles stay too out long there. In there. Be careful purchasing between a light and normal switch you have limitations between them but both are amazing consoles 100 worth it i i do agree they're very worth it they're very worth it especially now that like it's been several years after the switch is released so it should be like m- less expensive than maybe when it first released um no worries anna get some good food thank you for the lurk new mario game and zelda i'm very happy being <laughs> Yeah, like, I don't really, like, play a lot of Zelda games, but, like, the new Zelda game looks really good, so I might pick it up. And also, like, it's not so much, like, combat-heavy, which is, I think, what deterred me from playing, like, the other Zelda games before was because I, like, the combat and the puzzling just wasn't my vibe as much, and, like, people complained about it before. Um, But Tears of the Kingdom I've enjoyed. I need to go back to it at some point. Um... And I'm not switching to just chatting screen because otherwise I will be in this tiny corner because <laughs> uh, my other webcam is broken. Um, so we're just going to stay up here for a second. Um, I'm going to put my music back on, actually. Uh, there. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Um, the Danganronpa-esque game looks really good. Um, I'm excited for Ace Attorney Investigations because I always wanted to play as Edgeworth and I knew that game existed, but I'm like, I don't want to play that on my Nintendo DS. Um, so I'm really excited for that one. There's always like Nintendo games that I'm like, oh, this looks great. And then like, I never end up playing it because like PC is my primary console. So I never think to like go and buy things for my Switch. Um, you're playing Fortnite? Fun. I, what am I doing after this? Um... I'll probably, I do need to work out a little bit. And by work out, I mean just walk on my walk pad. Um, I might do some editing. Um, I do need to, I do need to play through a little bit of Spider-Man and Alan Wake 2 today. Um, which I think I'll play through Alan Wake when Deckards go live, if they do go live later. Um. Because at least with Spider-Man and Alan Wake 2, like, I can, like, pause when they're just doing stuff. I'm going to be playing some miles after this. Yeah, I need to do some video editing. Um, I need to do some of that today. Um, like, I'm I'm almost done with the video. I just need to get, grab, get, the, 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 I just need to get some clips, um, and some screenshots, um, for, like, like, I'm not doing, like, in comparison to the Watch Dogs video, I'm not doing, like, a lot of video overlay. Like, I never do for the Gaming Diaries. 
Um, but I want to get, like, some contact contextual stuff. Um, but, yeah, so, so hopefully, um, you all got some, like, what you're kind of looking for from the Nintendo Direct. I, I do have to say, like, in terms of, like, full package of, like, presentation, like, Nintendo just blows it out of the water. Like, it's so, like, it's so clean. It's, it's like the, um, Xbox Showcase or PlayStation, uh, uh, place of play or whatever it's called, state of play. Like, it's always so clean. Like, there's no ads. It's, like, very to the point. Like, we're here to look at game trailers. That is the purpose of this event. We're here to announce things that are upcoming. If there's DLCs or anything, we're going to talk about it. And then that's it. We're done. There's no this, like, two-hour-long extravaganza, um, which I guess is, like... Like, I get why jeff does it that way but like it always like this just feels like so succinct like because like we're in and out in 40 minutes like you know we're gonna be done in 40 minutes roughly give or take um it was so goofy and so respectable which is what i love about them yeah and they and they and they know like they it's a little cheesy because like they have to sell the they have to talk about the game but like um some some of their games are a little goofy so um yeah they just do a really good job with it um like, the Nintendo Directs, like, I always enjoy looking forward to those. Um, but, yeah, and they usually announce it, like, very short notice on when they're doing a Nintendo Direct. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Um, yeah, I have nothing else to add um, beyond there's too many games and not enough hours in the day to play all the games. So, um, that is a me problem. Um, yeah, like, I'm excited for those, like, I know Just Dance is not something I'm super excited for, or Metroid Prime 4, but, like, I'm happy that the people who want those games are getting those games, especially Metroid, because I know people have been waiting a long, long time for it. Um, but, yeah, um, I think that covers it. I think we're, we're good. Um, you know, their audience, but... No, there's also some younger audience fans are watching too, but they also always know how to announce games and save the big ones for last. Yeah, or like um how to spice things up between like in the middle of everything too. Um, I am gonna switch this over here because I do need to get us into a raid target. So I'm just gonna be down in this corner for like a hot minute. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> um There's not many people that I know that are alive right now, which is okay. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I got to hang out with y'all, um, for this showcase. Um, I never get to stream at this time because, like, I'm usually working, so, um, but this is pretty cool. Um, okay, but we're gonna raid on over to Trash and One. We have raided over them to them before, um... And he is playing some, Z not Zelda. <laughs> I almost said Zelda Ring. I almost tried to combine the words. He's playing Elden Ring. Um, but we're going to go hang out with him. Um, I don't know what exactly he's doing in this moment. Um, he is somewhere. He's standing, I believe, by a fire. I don't actually know. Um, but we're going to raid on over to him. Um, so if you like what he's up to, please drop a follow on his channel. Um... Zelda ring, Zelda ring, my beloved. <laughs> the crossover no one would be expecting. Um, but I appreciate you all hanging on out with us today um, for this very impromptu stream. Um, the upcoming schedule is as follows. So Thursday um, will be more dredge. Friday is going to be an art stream. Sunday will be return of Spider-Man remastered. And then Monday will be some more dead by daylight. Um, I had a lot of fun playing with y'all last night, so that was great. Um, so hopefully we will continue with that route um, and playing with viewers um, in the future. Definitely not next stream, but maybe the stream after or maybe every other week. I don't know. Um, we shall see. But again, thank you so much for hanging on out with me and bearing with me through my camera issues. Um, and I will hopefully have that issue fixed by Thursday, but I will see you all real soon. My name is Aaron Gray, queer variety twist streamer, signing off.